friends welcome to ahilu arts channel i am your host uma in this video we are going to see how to crochet the tulip stitch okay this video we have already uh, have the tutorial in tamil so this video is going to be in english um this is the fantastic most beautiful stitches you can make um for baby blanket even for baby frocks and you can make flower vases like this many purpose but it will be a very good um crochet okay for this what i'm going to use is you can use any common color like white or any other color for the base single crochet rows okay and uh, as since we see only uh, flowers we will be using stem uh, we'll be using green for the stem okay and any flower color for that matter like pink red yellow as long as you are you are you you like that color okay so we we are going to use these three colors you can also use um, different colors of rose for uh, every row like one row if you use red one row if you you can use uh, mm, pink and another row you can use uh, mm, yellow all those colors will be fantastic okay so let us see how to crochet this so first start with your base color this has to be multiples of 3 plus 1 okay multiples of 3 is for uh, the v stitches what we will be doing with the green color and the last one stitch is because we have to have the ending stitch right for that we will be having the last stitch okay so what i'm going to do is i'll be chaining 1 2 3 4 5 5 sorry sorry 5 okay i have multiples of 3 plus 1 So I have sixteen stitch. You can do um, your own number of chains according to the product what you are making. Okay. So I make I have done sixteen chains. Always single crochet row will be having one chain extra, right? So one sorry i have chained one more i guess right so do single crochet all the way through okay once you reach the end you will be doing one more single crochet row just to make sure the base is stiff enough okay you can do uh, three or four stitch four rows of single crochet also according to the uh, length of the uh, blanket you want because it will be uh, it will be of more floor if you uh, do every three rows the floor stitch right and floor stitch right so in order to avoid that if you are doing a blanket or something uh, which is a bigger one a pillow case or any other thing for that matter you can um, do 4 to 5 rows of single crochet so that the floss will be equally spaced and it will it 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 will be very pleasant to the eyes also okay it will be not more floss right so continue the same Okay, three more rows, two more rows uh, according to the according to your requirement. Then we'll start with the stem stitch with green. Okay, so chain one. Continue the single crochet row throughout. two more times okay i'll meet you at the end of third row we'll start the next row 
see I have completed three rows of single crochet okay now you can fasten off this yarn and you can join the green color okay chain 3 that will be our first double crochet of the V stitch and chain 1 for the chain 1 in the V stitch and do a double crochet in the same stitch we know V stitch will be double crochet chain 1 double crochet right so the first V stitch alone will be chain 3 and chain 1 totally chain 4 and a double crochet so then skip two stitches okay skip two stitch and do a V stitch again double crochet chain one double crochet again skip two stitch double crochet chain one double crochet so this is how we will be continuing the total stitches ok since we will be having uh, multiples of three and uh, one one stitch extra we will be having that many number of v stitches for example i have crochet 15 chains plus one right so I will be having 5 sets of V stitch in turn I will be having 5 tulips ok so as long as how many multiples of 3 you are having that many tulips you will be having ok so finally I have reached I have 3 more stitches I will skip 2 and do the last V stitch in the last stitch see like this I have 1 2 3 4 5 6 ok so since we will be having in the first uh, stitch also we'll, we are having on the last stitch what I normally do if I uh, have a um, if I have to make a blanket or any pillowcase or any uh, proper bordered one, what I will do is I want to v, v, v stitch in the starting and in the ending. What I will do is I will do just a double crochet alone and here also double crochet alone. If, uh, and in that case, I will be having only tulips in the center stitch so that the um, last stitches will be the double crochet so that I can do my border okay in order to show you I have started a V stitch from the first stitch okay so you can also do either if you want a tulips if you if you make it as a dishcloth or any uh, table runner uh, for decorative purpose you won't be then needing a border for the in that case you can use a V stitch in the starting and in the ending stitch but if you want to make a blanket with the border or any other thing with the border it will be easy for you to have a double crochet in the starting and the double crochet in the ending in order to have the proper border ok so now what we are going to do we are going to start the tulips that is a cluster stitch ok you can start from here by joining it in the same but in order to show you I will start from the other side start with the slip knot ok insert into the chain 1 space of the V stitch chain 2 ok we are, we are going to do the cluster stitch we have a tutorial for, for cluster stitch okay so let me zoom in for you now yarn over 
insert pull up a loop yarn over pull through two if you yarn over and pull through these two your uh, double crochet will be completed we are not have to do we are not going to do a double crochet we will be doing a cluster stitch so again yarn over insert pull up a loop yarn over pull through two you have three loops in the stitch hook now so again yarn over insert pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over insert pull up a loop yarn over pull through two now i have five loops in my hook okay you can yarn over and pull through all the five loops to form a cluster if you want your uh, tulip to be bigger you can do one more yarn over and you will be having five uh, six loops then you can yarn over through all the six loops okay since i'm using smaller yarn uh, i i am i'm okay with the this size tulip so now what we are going to do we have to chain two we have to maintain the number of stitches we have we had already right so um, what we'll be have doing is tulip stitch consists of one stitch and um, two chain for the skipped two chains we have skipped two chains here right so for that we are having two ch uh, two chains in the tulip so yarn over ne in the next uh, chain one stitch pull through two yarn over insert pull up a loop pull through two yarn over insert pull up a loop pull through two yarn over insert pull up a loop yarn over and pull through two now i have five loops in my hook yarn over pull through all the five so chain two in the next we stitch we will be doing a cluster chain two so as i told you you have to use green for the v stitch round that is for the stem then only whatever color you are using for the flower it will be it will be literally like a flower okay so i have two more v stitch left be doing the cluster stitch in each of the chain one chain two insert pull up a loop pull through two insert pull up a loop pull through two insert pull up a loop pull through two insert so I have five loops in my hook, yarn over and pull through all the five. See, now you can see how beautifully our tulips or rose buds, if you may, are arranged. Okay, so now what we are going to do, we are to we have to continue the same pattern again and again. So you will be starting your base color. Uh, for me it is white so you'll be starting the white color here and do the single crochet in every stitch even though with the chain space also then only we will be having the same number of stitch throughout okay see you can sorry you can join your white color and do a chain one for securing then do a single crochet in all the stitches sorry insert pull up a loop you have two loops in your hook yarn over pull through two so we have to do we have two chains right so we have to do two single crochets in the chain two space and in the top of the cluster do one single crochet and in the chain two do two single crochets 
okay this is how we will be maintaining the same number of stitches from the foundation chain till the end okay so after when, uh, when, uh, when you complete this row if you count your number of stitches you will be having the same number of stitch what you have in the foundation row okay so this is how we will be continuing all the patterns all the rows to maintain the pattern see here now I will be continuing two more rows of single crochet then a V stitch round with the green color and a um, cluster round with the whatever color you are choosing for flower ok so this is how your tulip stitch will be ok so if you like this video please please share it with your friends suggest your suggestions in the comment box so that we can crochet it all together um, like our facebook page subscribe to the channel so that you never miss any video if you like anything to shop handmade items please feel free to click, click uh, the link in my description and also click shop now button in the facebook page thank you bye bye